So in this example, we have a uniform ladder of length 5 meters and mass 12 kilos leans against a smooth wall with its base on rough ground as shown. The ladder is in limiting equilibrium. Find the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the ground. So let's label our diagram. Now because it's uniform, the weight will act through the center of the ladder and so that will be 12g and it's in contact with a smooth wall so there will be a reaction force so normal reaction force rw and it's in contact with the floor so there'll be a reaction force with the floor and the floor is rough so there'll be a frictional force let's label that fr and the length is 5 metres, so that's 2.5 metres. And that's 2.5 metres. OK, so this is my diagram. Now, the difference between this and the previous example is that I now know the angle between the ladder and the floor. So 60 degrees. Okay, so let's look at resolving forces first. So I'm going to resolve vertically, taking upwards as positive. We have RF, take away 12G, must be 0. So RF has to be 12G. If we resolve horizontally, taking to the right as positive, we have the friction, take away RW, must be 0. OK, so friction and the RW, and so the friction must be equal to RW. Now, it's in limiting equilibrium, so we know that the friction is going to be equal to mu times the normal reaction force with the floor. OK, so that's what we're going to use. Now, I've got RF, that's 12G. But I don't have the friction. All I know is that it's the same as the normal reaction force with the wall. So I'm going to need to take moments. So I'm going to call that point A, and I'm going to take moments about point A. Now, in this situation, because I've got the angle, uh, it may be preferable to split the forces up into their components. So I'm going to split the 12G force up into 12G uh, cosine 60 and 12G sine 60. Likewise, I'm going to split the RW force up. So uh, this will be... Now, if, if that's 60 degrees, then that's 60 degrees. So that means that's 30 degrees inside. So this will be RW sine 30, and this will be RW cosine 30. Now you could alternatively have split it up that way, and so you would have had RW um, sine 60 and RW cosine 60. Okay, You can do it either way. Now, taking moments about point A then, we are 2.5 metres away from the 12G cosine 60, and that's going clockwise. So take away 2.5 times 12G cosine 60. And then we're 5 metres away from RW cosine 30, and that's going anti-clockwise. So plus 5 times RW cosine 30, and that's equals 0. Okay, so I think I'm going to go straight into decimals here. Putting g is 9.8. So 2.5 times 12 times 9.8 times cosine of 60, and then divide that by 5 lots of cosine of 30. And we get 98 root 3 over 5. So that's our W, so that means that is uh, the frictional force as well.
So therefore, we have 98 root 3 over 5 is equal to mu times by the normal reaction force, which, which was 12 times g. So 12 times 9.8 uh, is 588 over 5. So mu is going to be 98 root 3 over 588. which is root 3 over 6, which is 0.289 to 3 significant figures.